Hello there. Um, so I finally got my Mackie Box uh, A6 3D printer right here. Um, that's the truth with the modification or whatever it is you say. <laughs> I, it is. I had to buy it again. I bought it from the Mackie Box clearance, but I did get a good deal because I got a discount. It's 200 quid and then I got uh, a discount of a hundred quid uh, that was they don't have that anymore sorry guys uh, but I managed to, to get that and they honored it which I didn't think they would uh, but they did and I and I was thrilled because well I had already paid for it once so it was nice that I didn't have to pay more than a hundred quid for it extra plus shipping though uh, so a bit more um, and I got it and I was really excited and I started to make a video and to record and my whole I, ha I have recordings of, of the whole building process but when I opened the the printing platform it was an LT platform so just an acrylic plate which they really said that no that's no problem we only sell the HT version uh, and I've heard from others later on that that's not true they they sell a lot of different versions um, not, and this is not because they're they're evil <laughs> it's just that they don't know what it is they're selling so I contacted them and said that you said I had a mail and, and sent that back and said that you promised me an HT hotbed version and I got an LT so how do we solve this and I said well we'll send you a hotbed so well as you see I have installed it I did get the hotbed uh, and I also said that I need the cables and the special the controller I meant the power not the controller the power board for it which I later on found that I uh, had a I think this is I, I got the right power board but just didn't get the sorry it's we have a storm running outside here so I'm listening in on that from time to time so anyway I didn't get the heated platform but they sent it to me but they didn't send me the cable the hotbed cable from the D8 in my case to the to the hotbed however they did send me another D8 instead of the of the power board and and I also missed another part and they didn't send me that part but they sent me another part so it's if you buy from Macbox clearance and you don't get what you're supposed to it's not that they're they're trying to scam you is just that they don't have total knowledge of what it is they're selling they, they don't deal with 3d printers uh, uh, on a regular basis I guess so since since they've shown me so much goodwill anyway I felt that I don't want to bother them again with even more um, demands of getting stuff so Instead, I went and bought. Um, I thought I can make my own cable, so I bought all the ingredients to buy to make a cable. Um, the local hardware store did not have all the parts needed, so um, actually they, they got all the uh, they're called Mini Fit Juniors um, Molex connectors. Um, they didn't have. Uh, one pair so I had to buy two two pairs and see if I can do something with that maybe if I do something with the D8 board or if I cut these or something and they also had uh, the three pair version which I need for the hot plate but they didn't have enough of these uh, uh, I'm not sure what these are called but the, the metal thing the contact thing that's supposed to be inside so I found this cable it's for a computer 
you put this on the motherboard, ATX port, kind of, and then this is for CD-ROM drives and, and uh, stuff like that. So I bought this, and I thought I can just cut these cables, and it's too short, so I have to make them longer, and uh, put these other uh, contacts on, and then also I got the contact for the uh, thermistor. So with all this, I'm hoping that I can get my hotbed to work. So. Um, First things first though, I need to remove my hotbed again so I can move around here. And I have uh, John Buford's uh, Mucky Box Assembly Step 8 on the computer so I can follow along and make sure I do it right once I get the cable done. I did see just now and it seems that he has quite a long cable. I think it's almost 50 centimeters or something like that. So I, I'll just have to measure in here first. Here, below the, this little plastic thing, it actually says exactly what we're looking for. So here we have plus 12 volts on the outside, ground and RT, the resistor, thermistor, or something. So I'm sitting here with my first print ever, or actual larger object than one millimeter. Uh, and it's cooling down here so I can take it off. Um, I've had problem. I've tried a few times before, but they've always become no or become large slinkies, and that's because I had 0 0.4 is standard um, layer height in in repeater, and uh, the nozzle is 0 0.3 in this one, so it won't get stuck together. The motors are quite hot. I can I can't touch them, but a bit hot uh, and it's not a smooth surface I don't know why it's not um, I find the the moving of the of the Maki box is really nice to watch though and, and, and I think it's it looks as if it's quite straight even though it's not uh, a fine um, fine uh, line or the edge is not completely smooth um, and I've done nothing special with this so just out of the box it seems to have worked for me I am well aware it's not working for everyone but it seems that it has worked for me once I got all the parts and I fixed my cable the cable seems to work fine uh, the bed is down in 52 degrees now and uh, yeah, the other only other modification I've done is I filled the gaps in the idler wheel with uh, silicone to make it more rigid and not prone to for the for the spokes to break uh, and also I've sanded the the surface of the uh, idler wheel so it's a bit rough so it will turn better hopefully I don't know if that has anything to do with it but that's what I've done and just a small piece of captain tape so let's try to take this off worked well so here's a box a two centi or twenty millimeter uh, test box and as you can see it is not very nice edges I am not really sure why that is it might be that um, 
the, the first layer was uh, it didn't get stuck immediately I think the first layer was 0 0.35 millimeters so that makes that I have to fix have to fix that too oh look it made a free fall even bounces a bit not I think you can even see that it's a bit see-through in the infill so yeah for a first thing for a first print for me ever and for this printer ever uh, I think this is really nice uh, I have my caliper I had had my caliper here let's just see the measurements it's supposed to be 20 by 20 millimeters so this is 20 perfect 20 and a little bit more 20.2 and the height yeah spot on 20 so except for the rough edges I'm really pleased with this one sure is worth the 100 uh, quid I paid for this so let's uh, do something else <laughs> 